Here's a really cool feature in PowerPoint 2010, and that's um, when you have lots of speaker notes, uh, you no longer have to format them to fit on one page. You'll actually have an overflow, so when you print out your speaker notes, uh, the overflow will print into an additional page. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how that works. So let's go and open up another PowerPoint file. Let's say this is our PowerPoint file. We want to have uh, lots of speaker notes. So I'm going to use our uh, insert our, our bogus text. So we're going to use equal lorem and then parentheses and let's just do 10 uh, and um, 10 and see what we get. So that creates a lot of text. Of course, it chooses the smallest amount of text possible. So let's uh, let's do this. Um, we're going to copy and paste this a few times. So um, in the previous versions of PowerPoint, what you would have to do is if you had a lot of text, uh, something like this where you have a lot of text, um, when you print it out, you'd actually have to scale the text down to get it on a single page. But what happens in PowerPoint 2010 is if we come into the print preview, You'll notice, um, let me uh, go back to, we're on notes pages here, so we get our notes. We're on the notes page, and you can see the text actually extends past the note. So the text that goes past the note, when you go to the next slide, it actually just uh, keeps going. So you're able to um, have an overflow on your notes rather than have everything on a single slide. In the old days, it used to look like this. So like if we, uh, we would have to do something like this. We'd go ahead and do Control A and we'd have to um, bring that font size way down and then when we go uh, to print preview you could see everything is on here but then it's all real small so it doesn't it doesn't work well but being able to do the overflow uh, is really going to allow you to uh, keep all your notes there and it's not going to mean that you have to do a lot of extra work to do that so it's just a matter of uh, going to print preview selecting your notes page and then uh, whatever doesn't fit on this first page will go into the second page.